long pull round. There it is. <laughs> Happy days. We're just getting straight on with it. Right then guys, welcome to another episode of Hooked. My name's John Murray and I'm an angling addict and today I'm back out on the Aaron Calder fishing in the Murfield Spring League and it's round eight. Right, so where have I drawn today? Well, I'm on peg 103. Now they all pretty much look the same, but if we have a look up the canal, um, probably, well, 12, 10 pegs that way is up by the bird boxes, somewhere around those bushes on the, uh, just up there. And that's where I was last week. The Blue Bridge is back down that way. Um, I've no idea. I'm in the middle of the area. They've put uh, the peg two and missed one. So basically there's a peg to my left, which is spare. And then the next two pegs are pegged in. Uh, there's a chap on the peg to my right. And yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say about it. I think a few bream came out from this area last week probably around about 10 pound as you know I only caught one perch I had one bite one perch it was just horrific so plan today well basically I'm just going to fish two lines feeder and 11 meter pole I'm not messing about I've got two rigs for the 11 meter pole I've got the two gram flat float and I've got a one gram AS8 uh, I'm not going to show you them I've been over them all before in the previous matches if you haven't seen them I'll put a link to them up here somewhere uh, go and check them out after this one and you can see exactly how I set my rigs up with the olivets, the dropper shots and so on and so forth. The feeder is exactly the same setup that I've been using previously. I'm going to go out with a one ounce Nisa feeder. Um, I'm probably going to start on dead reds today. Going out with a size 14 hook so I'm going to go a little bit more positive. Going negative last week just didn't work out for me. So the bream down here are pretty big when you do get into one. So I think, yeah, let's just go for it. Um, we're looking for a couple of pulls. I'm fishing for bites, basically. Pole line, I'm going to do exactly the same as last week. I'm just going to put one ball on it, a little bit of chop worm, a few dead reds, see if we can get a fish on that if the feeder isn't doing anything. But, you know, as we say, if you're going to get a bite around here, I think you'll get them on the tip anyway. So it's just a case of sit and wait, to be quite honest. Uh, will I put any more bait in? Yeah, I probably will load it up if I'm not getting anything by the midway point in the match. Um, but otherwise, it'll just be a case of topping the, topping the line up on the pole line uh, every hour or so just giving it a nugget and just trying to get a single fish out you know anything basically I'm prepared for an hard one so you know <laughs> fingers crossed it's not gonna be so I just had to move off the path there little interruption as somebody walked past uh, remember anyway guys if you enjoy the videos give them a thumbs up you know subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell that way you won't miss an episode every time I upload one and if you're so inclined go ahead give it a share Right, so we're about 35 minutes out from the all-in now. I'm going to go give JK a ring and see where he's drawn because he's guesting on these matches this week. I'll see you at the start. Right, we're two minutes out from the all-in, so I've got a ground bait ball in the cup. Let's wait for the whistle. Just got a little bit of chop worm and a few dead reds in that ball of ground bait. Time! That's time. Let's go. So straight out on the feeder. I'm going to start off double dead red. And we'll go with two minute casts. Just get a little bit of feeding to start with. Just seen a fish roll just downstream of the bait on the feeder line. I don't think it was a bream, but any sign of a fish is a good sign. <laughs> I 
Right, well that's five two minute casts, so I'm going to start moving these out to three minutes now. Possibly a bite developing. Yeah, that looks like a bite, and that's on. So 27 minutes into the match, first bite. It's still double dead red, but I've tipped it with a pinky. Feels like a skimmer, maybe. Hope it is. No, it's a perch. Never a good sign. At least we ain't blanked. Yeah, that's five three minute casts now. So I'm going to start moving out to four minutes. I think I'm going to scale down as well. I'm going to go on with 16, double pinky. Give it a whirl. So I'm going with a tiny, tiny worm segment. Move this cast out to five minutes. Right, well absolutely nothing after that five minute cast on a tiny piece of worm, so I'm going to switch onto the pole, have a little look on that, if we don't catch anything, cameras are going off, and uh, I'll give you an update if something happens. We've got a fish on the pole. Incredible. I wasn't really expecting anything to happen. Only a small one. But hey. Again though, just a tiny perch. There are a few fish topping in my swim. Three or four have just broke surface, they're only small. But that is encouraging. Now then, the toe on this canal is such that a couple of seconds ago the one gram float was perfect for taking that perch out. Now it seems like it's uh, pulling a lot harder, so I'm probably going to have to switch onto my flat float here. Yeah, I'm going to make the switch. Yeah, well. Canal is proper firing through now. Even the two grammar. Two gram flat floats having difficulty holding in this floor. Fish. 
so it's running quite hard right now. I just trotted down and probably five yards below where I put the last ground bait ball in, we picked up a Tommy. So there's very, very little in the swim right now. But I'll keep persevering. I'm going to knock the cameras off anyway and uh, if the fishing improves I'll come back to you. Right well a little update for you, it's three o'clock, um, I've had four perch and a tommy now. Took the extra two perch on the pole. Um, the tow at times is so hard it's now started dislodging the one ounce feeder so I might have to step that up if I'm going to stick on the feeder. Uh, I was going to drop on the pole but obviously you've just got time when you go in on here uh, the two gram flat float probably isn't enough to hold static in the flow um, but I'm inching it through and just searching the peg because I think the bait is spreading out and the, the way this flow is going it's, it's pushing it up and down the canal um, yeah it's it's quite difficult to fish down here with it being so narrow you know, you've got a lot of volume of water coming from up up stream if you want to call it that on a canal obviously it flows from uh, my right to left down to go and uh, when it narrows down I think it just tows a lot harder in the narrower sections so anyway uh, the only other thing I've got to report is JK is up on 19 and uh, I think he's had a couple of small fish and then he's just texted me to say that he's had a bream as well on the tip um, as I say no such luck in here yet uh, only other thing I forgot to mention is I did uh, have a bite on the tip missed it and then I threw back in uh, and a couple of minutes later I had a massive liner and that got me hopes up but then there's been absolutely nothing else uh, so yeah whether we'll get any towards the end of the match I don't know but uh, yeah I'll sign off for now and I'll give you another update when I know any more right folks another little update for you we're four hours in now I haven't had another single bite uh, I've run over on the pole line again um, floor keeps picking up, backing up, it's all over the place. Absolute nightmare to fish in to be quite honest. So really um, I'm just sticking with the tip. I mean there's no consistency to the floor. You pick your flat float up and then one minute it's holding stable, the next minute it's going to the right, the next it's down to the left, you know, and it's trying to lay flat. Well it's not laying flat, I can ease it through so it's not that bad probably about two and a half gram would be about right I don't have any two and a half gram with me um, yeah but it is what it is um, feeder wise no signs no more signs when the floor picks up it's still dislodging the feeder it's more to do with the amount of algae that's coming up and down the canal striking into the braid and um, and basically it's lifting the feeder off the uh, off the deck at times but most of the time it's sat pretty stable so I think really it's my best bet of actually getting a bite we've got what 55 minutes left now and um, yeah I think I just need to try and focus head down for the last hour hope that tip goes around just one time and we'll get a bream out well here it is the final update I've just got no words really uh, the pegs I'm drawing, they're just horrendous. I've ended up weighing in five fish for six ounce. Get in. Absolutely shocking. Uh, there's been odd bream out around me. I've heard Sean Tate's had a couple. Uh, there was two pound odd to my right hand side. Why I can't find a decent fish, I have no idea. The kid to my right is just fish feed it all day long. And... Um, yeah, I mean, he's had two pounds somewhat, but you're talking about picking up the odd quality fish. You know, I'm, I'm just not getting them. I don't know why. Uh, it's not like I haven't caught them on here. So you can only put it down to the peg. You know, I just don't think there's anything wrong with my approach. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm done with it. It's, it, it's done, finito. There is one more match in this series, but I'm away next week. Uh, and I'm certainly not rushing back to come and fish in this. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, we're done. I hope you enjoyed it anyway, guys. Listen, uh, there'll be another feature for you coming from Starcar soon. Um, 
I'm going to fish a couple of fisheries on the east coast. One's Westland Lakes, I think, and I can't remember the name of the other one. I think it's uh, Humberside Shooting Ground. So, uh, yeah, I'll make me pick on the day, but there'll be a few pleasure sessions coming up and uh, hopefully I'll get a few fish out for the cameras. Right, listen, as I say, thanks for watching. Until the next one, tight lines.